What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina and today's video I'm going to show you how I personally pack my dive gear anytime that I get on an airplane. Now there's several bags that we're going to look at today that I choose to use when I travel. The first one of course is the Marius Cruise Journey. This is my carry-on, this is what I use for personal items. I can keep my laptop, my cell phone, get a couple different cameras, you know, things like that. That's my go-to choice for my carry-on bag. I've also got what's called the Marius Cruise backpack now this is my main luggage this is what i keep most of my dive gear in and most of my luggage and we'll talk a little bit about weight limitations and how i pack it as well the next bag is of course the marius cruise mesh elite now this is a convertible bag it's a small small bag that opens up into a larger mesh style backpack and what i like it is I can take all my gear out of my main bag, put it into the mesh bag if I'm not doing shore diving, but I'm going on a boat, I can carry it on the boat with me and then of course fold the bag up when I don't need it. And then the last of course is a dry bag from the Mares XR line. So let's take a quick look at each of those bags and I'll show you exactly how I pack my dive gear. Okay guys, so my two primary bags that I use of course being the Mares Cruise Journey and the Mares Cruise Backpack. I'm going to set one aside and I'll come back to it in a minute, but we're going to look at the bigger bag now and talk a little bit about why I like to use it. First of all, this is a roller style bag, so I really like that. If you've got a long walk, you can roll the bag along with you, or it also has the backpack straps on the back so you can carry it if you need to carry it. It's got plenty of pockets for storage and plenty of adjustability, so if you don't have that much, you can really cinch this gear down. On the top here in the main compartment, or the smaller compartment here. This is where I keep all my little personal items, toothpaste, uh, toothbrush, shaving kit, things like that. And I'll talk a little bit about why I stow this here versus putting it in a carry-on. Of course, primarily because of the razor issue, you can't get on a plane with a razor. Here on the side, you'll notice that there are fin pockets, one on each side. And this is where I carry my fins, of course. Now, inside my fins, and these are just the Mares Extremes, inside the fins is where I store my dive mask. Now, personally, when I travel, I always take two dive masks with me. I have two Mares X-Visions. It's kind of my mask of choice. And the reason I take two versus taking an extra uh, mask strap is simply because it's so much easier if I need to just pull that mask out and use it versus trying to re-thread a mask strap on. So on each side of the bag, I'll have my fins and my mask, and that kind of creates a good stable structure for the rest of the bag as well. Opening up the main compartment here, you'll notice I have the Mares XR dry bag. And this is what my main clothing goes in. I've got about three to four days worth of clothing in here. Um, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about why I put them in a dry bag as well. Primarily, if my dive gear is wet, this protects my clothing from getting wet as well. And also, if I need to eliminate a little extra weight or have extra space for souvenirs for the trip, I can always pull this out as a personal bag as well. Now, the personal bag and my carry-on, which goes on the plane with me, I can pull them out, a little bit less weight. And once again, I have room for souvenirs and stuff like that. Now, the reason I didn't put my personal ditty bag in here is because if this gets searched prior to getting on an airplane and it's got a razor in it, then of course you're not going to be able to carry it on. So that's why I keep the razor and those items separate. I have my clothing and stuff here. Of course, I got my little spear pole. We're going down to do some spear fishing down in Curacao. Got the tip of it taped off so it's nice and secure, not going to hurt anything or poke through the bag. Of course, I've got my wetsuit here, a couple other diving items. I've got my snorkel, a little roll-up snorkel. I've got my boots for my fins. And then, of course, here is the Cruise Mesh Elite backpack. This is the one that I actually carry onto the boat because it will open up into a larger style mesh backpack. And that's what all this dive gear actually goes on whenever I'm going out on a boat versus diving from shore. I got a couple foldable hangers here. These are from XS Scuba. The really neat thing about them, they fold for easy storage. So I got a hanger for my wetsuit. And then of course I've got a hanger for my BC and my regulator. Really nice hangers. Moving on, I have my save a dive kit. Now a lot of you guys have seen our video in the past on how to build a save a dive kit. What I do when I travel of course is I take my larger kit and I put just the bare necessities of what I need. And here's a couple different flashlights, a couple extra batteries for flashlights, some O-rings, and just a couple small tools. I don't carry everything with me when I travel. I just take the bare essentials. So that's what's in here. And then of course I got my BC of choice. This is the Mares XR line single bladder system. And what you'll notice is, is I've traded out the 
uh, back plate, the steel back plate for a soft back plate. And that's going to help eliminate a lot of that weight when you're traveling. So that's my choice there for BCs. And all I do is just simply place it all in here. You can cinch it down with the straps on the inside if you'd like. Close the top buckles. Close the bottom buckles. And that bag is simply packed, ready to go. So let's take a quick look at my actual carry-on bag and I'll show you exactly what I've got in it as well. Okay guys, so for my carry-on, I've always chose the Marius Cruise Journey backpack and I really like this because all of the storage uh, compartments that's in it. It's very, very versatile. Um, first of all, here on the side, this is where I keep my passport. So it's easy access. I can just grab it if I need to for, you know, whatever reason there. In the front pocket here, this is where I keep business cards. I actually keep a spare dive computer in here because I always take two dive computers with me everywhere I go. And in this compartment here, this is extra camera equipment, extra batteries for the camera, stuff like that for you guys here on YouTube, uh, phone charger, stuff like that. That's what I keep in here. The next compartment over, I actually have a complete change of clothes, which I put in a little Ziploc bag. And the reason I put an extra complete change of clothes in here is simply because if the airline lose my luggage anywhere, I will have extra spare clothing with me and I don't have to worry about that. In the next major compartment, I have all my cameras. Now these are my underwater cameras. This is what I use. Uh, I use a whole slew of the Antova series. So that's my choice. And of course I keep them in this little Pelican box here. It works great to store inside my bag as well. We've got a couple of different accessories for them. And then of course I've got an extendable tripod. So usually here at the store, we have a tripod when we're shooting our videos, a big one. This little travel tripod works great for me as well. And then of course in the back part here, this is my regulator. Now the reason I put my regulator in my carry-on versus putting it in my luggage, it tends to be one of the heaviest pieces of gear that you can have. So I want to take some of that weight out in case I need room later on for storage or maybe room for even uh, souvenirs and stuff like that. Now one quick note that I do with my regulator, not saying you have to do, but what I do is I actually break my regulator down, meaning the first stage and all the hoses have been disconnected. And the reason I do that, it makes it a little bit easier to stow when it's in the cruise journey. So I simply just put it in here. I can zip it up. Stow it back into my carry-on bag. Okay, put my tripod in. Put my cameras. and simply zip it up. As simple as that. Now the last thing I do of course is I take a little luggage scale with me which we're going to weigh both of these bags and we're going to show you how much each one weighs with the equipment and the luggage that I carry. Okay guys, so whenever you travel via airplane, we understand that there's weight limitations and for check luggage, that's gonna be 50 pounds. So let's take a quick look at just how much this bag weighs with all the gear that I've chose to take with me and make sure I'm not over the 50 pound mark. I'll simply take my little scale here, lift it up, and as you can see, it's right there at the 40, 41 pound mark. So that still leaves me about nine pounds for souvenirs or any extra luggage that I need to take with me. I can drop that weight down if I need to by simply taking out that dry bag that's got my clothing and I can carry it on either as a carry-on or a personal item as well. So even for the carry-on, we still have weight limitations as well. Let's take a quick look at that and see just how much it weighs.
As you can see, it's right there at that 19 pound mark, so we're well within the limitations of it as well. So guys, there you go. That's how I pack my dive gear anytime that I'm taking a plane to the dive destination. I've got the Mares Cruise Journey. I've got the Mares Cruise Backpack. I have the Mares Cruise Backpack Elite, the mesh style. And I also have the Mares XR Dry Bag. Those are the bags that I choose to travel with. They work great for me. If you're interested in any of these products, I will link down in the description below a video review of each and every one of these bags simply click on it you can learn a little bit more about it you can also i'll put a link down there as well for mares's direct website so you can get the dimensions and of course the weights of each one of these bags guys if you like this video simply hit that thumbs up button for me as always make sure you follow us on instagram and twitter like us on facebook pin us on pinterest subscribe to us here on youtube and as always guys we appreciate your business Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.